with all the, the, the hand wringing about Donald Trump being called a fascist, Fox News beside themselves, just apoplectic over the, the, the prospect that the guy that they're, they're trying to get back in office is going to do the things that he claims he's going to do, like uh, use the military to dispatch them and deploy them against his political opponents. The radical left Democrats, radical left, you know, Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi, those radical leftists. <laughs> you, you know they're not radicals, right? They're about as mainstream as it gets in the, in the Democratic Party. They're, they're not radicals by any stretch of the imagination. AOC isn't a radical. Ilhan Omar is not a radical. These idiots are in the Republican Party are so far right that they think just a regular liberal is some kind of a dangerous leftist that tells you how far they're attempting to shift the Overton window. But if you want to talk about fascism, let's talk about fascism. Let's point to Donald Trump on Truth Social yesterday evening uh, or in the early afternoon, 1.32 p.m., he posted this, cease and desist, as though his true social profile and timeline is some kind of a legal document or instruction. I, together with many attorneys capitalized and legal scholars capitalized for some reason, am watching the sanctity capitalized incorrectly of the 2024 presidential election incorrectly capitalized very closely because I know better than most, he knows better than most everyone, that the rampant cheating capitalized for some reason and skullduggery capitalized for some reason that has taken place by the Democrats in the 2020 presidential election capitalized incorrectly. It was a disgrace capitalized to our nation capitalized. Therefore, the 2024 for election, capitalized, where votes, capitalized, have just started being cast, will be under the closest professional scrutiny. And when I win, those people that cheated, it's those people who cheated, they're people, they're not that's, they're not objects, they're who's, those people that cheated will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Now, I'm gonna stop doing the bit where I point out that he can't even correctly communicate in his native language, because this is important. Those people that cheated will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Now he goes on and I'm gonna read the rest of this, but I want you to keep in mind that MAGA people will say, yeah, well, he's not threatening anybody except for those who cheat. That's not taking into account the fact that they accuse people of cheating who did not cheat. Rudy Giuliani is having to give up all of his assets right now, tens, at least $10 million in assets right now to Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss because they were accused of cheating when they did not. There was no cheating in the 2020 election in any way that could have swung the election in any one of the states. And, and actually, the more investigations that are done, we're learning that it was actually the cheating that did take place was on the part of Donald Trump supporters. So when he says, there's gonna be long prison sentences, we're gonna go after you for cheating, he just means anybody who votes against him. Pretty clear. Again, those people that cheated will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, which will include long-term prison sentences so that this depravity of justice does not happen again. We cannot let our country further devolve into a third world nation, and we won't. Please beware that this legal exposure of long prison sentences extends to lawyers, political operatives, Donors, again, he's threatening if you made a donation to Kamala Harris's campaign. Illegal voters, there are no illegal voters on this team, brother, and corrupt election officials. Those involved in unscrupulous behavior will be sought out, caught, and prosecuted at levels, unfortunately, never seen before in our country with a capital C. If you need a refresher 
on what fascism is and is not, that's fascism. This is fascistic. This is threatening the prosecution, the rounding up, and the imprisonment of people who are critical of Donald Trump. If you donated $25 to the Kamala Harris campaign, you're on Donald Trump's radar for a long-term prison sentence. And the media is still largely silent. Where's the front page story on the New York Times uh, cover of, uh, of this? Of Donald Trump threatening long-term prison sentences for donors of Democrat candidates. I won't hold my breath waiting for it because uh, I like oxygen and being able to breathe. While they whine and while uh, Mitch McConnell and, 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 and Mike Johnson are, are releasing statements about the dangers of calling people fascist while Donald Trump does that exact same thing, this is taking place. The actual fascist. What do you think? I invite you to this conversation. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. You can also just comment below. That'll help the, the YouTube algorithmic gods uh, shine a light on fellow YouTubers, or, or, or not YouTubers, but people who watch YouTube to show my content to them. What a, what a glorious thing that would be. So leave a comment, that would be nice. You can also like, make sure you're subscribed. All these things are important in the grand scheme of growing a YouTube channel, I guess. Anyway, I love and appreciate you very much. Uh, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore everywhere. I'd love to see you there. And I will see you next time. Until then, be genuine and take care of one another.